Hey you folks, Quillate in here and welcome to another episode of Let's Play The Sims 4! In the last episode I said, you know what, we should move Gilbert out of the house, and then I couldn't quite quickly figure out how to do that, so uh, the process is you actually have to sort of drop back to the main menu, or from inside the game you can go to Manage Neighborhood, and you click on your household, and you click on these little dots over here, and then you click on Manage Household over here, and you click this arrow here to transfer Sims between households, and then you have to select a family, um, that you've got or make a new one. You can, uh, this is how you can transfer a sim into an existing house, for example. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new household and move Gilbert into that. He will start with 20,000 bucks. So he doesn't really bring any of the family fortune over. <clears throat> Not that we have that much money kicking around, um, but it's interesting that you don't really get to take advantage of that. On the other hand, he's starting his life as a young adult. Like, if you make a new sim, you start off as a young adult normally, and uh, with 20,000 bucks. But in that case, you don't start off with skills. Here we got skills. Uh, we are, like, rank four or five in our job. Uh, we've got friends already. So I think we're going to do okay. So we'll be on a bit of a budget. We'll still build a spaceship, of course. So now, um, now that I've got a new household, now I can click on a territory and drop out. You know what would be awesome? Why don't I move him into a building in the same neighborhood? This is a huge lot, for example, right over here. On the other side of the house, the other side of where my parents live. Oh, it's 25 grand to buy that property. Um, what? This is, not, no, cancel. That's not what I want at all. I'm going to do that. Click here. Change lot type, build, create a new household. I don't want to create a new household. Okay, you. There we go. Move in. So I can't afford that one. But I can't afford this one. Or what I could do is I could edit this lot and just empty it. I could just go into edit mode, delete everything. The property will still be a little bit pricey, but without a building there. You know what? I'll go ahead and I'll just gonna use all my money up we're gonna start with a really bare bones house aren't we anyway cancel this I'm gonna go and I'm gonna go into build mode on this lot we're gonna clear it out completely have a huge huge lot and then we'll uh, we'll move Gilbert in there and we'll have like nothing we'll have a little one building shack it's basically you can sort of imagine it that he's still living at his parents house um, but he's got his little sort of like workshop across the street. Damn, there's really not much going on in here. Is there a way to just reset a building? Like, I just want to empty the lot completely. I can sledgehammer something. The gallery. Click and drag. Nope. There must be a way to just empty a lot. That's faster than this. I'm surprised in that lot management view there wasn't an option for it. I'm, I bet there is, and I just didn't see it. What's that arrow? That's my normal select mode. Lot info panel. Ah! Pull those lot! Brump. There we go. Now it's only worth 2000 bucks. Excellent. Okay. I don't know. I think that there's a way for you to like manually move households in and do different stuff like that. Um, and so you can drop people into lots where they might not normally be able to afford it. I think there's a few different ways. I could also use a cheat on Gilbert over here. Um, but in a sense, we're kind of cheating with the split in that Gilbert is going to start life like, we, this whole family's just gotten a free 20,000 bucks. Um, so now, grab Gilbert O'Hayes, move him in to there. And we're going to play that family. So, by being in the same mini neighborhood as, um, as my parents, we can very easily just go across the street and see them whenever we want. We don't have to use a travel or anything like that. We just have to walk. I think there'll be a little bit of a load screen once we get onto their territory, onto their property, but it's going to be pretty minimal. And also, I think it's going to increase the chance that they just sort of... What? 
Okay. It's just, it's just a bunch of townies that happen to be standing here. There's McKinley, though. Th this is weird and creepy, though. I think it's because we're at sort of at the edge of the property and they're about to walk around. But let's take a moment and talk to uh, McKinley since she's here. Share insecurities, self-deprecating joke. Someone walked in on me. Then he walked out. He wasn't impressed with what he saw. Boom, boom, or something. Um, right. So right away, priority number one. We're gonna have a new rocket. It's the uh, right, the steampunk flymajig. So it gives us the rocketry skill. So yeah, we're gonna try to get to level five in the rocketry skill. So it feels like we should put it in the far back of the yard for safety. On the other hand, then that's just a lot of extra walking. We can always just move this later. For now, I'll go ahead and I'll build it um, like right at the front of the yard. It's just going to be easier to get to. I want to put our telescope back in, but probably not quite yet. Um, and yeah, we're going to have like a very, very, very simple building to live in, which we will well, you know, we'll probably, I don't know, we'll do something with it later. It'd be the same way as how their, his parents started out. Um, I could. Use pre-made rooms. I'm tempted. I haven't really used these before. But a few pre-made rooms. Now, you know, it's gonna be like um it's gonna be like a studio apartment, basically. Uh, like a converted garage. That's what he's gonna live in. It's gonna basically a, a converted garage that's been made into sort of a, a studio apartment. Not even a one bedroom, but like a bachelor pad, right? Um, it'll have a separate room for the bathroom, and that's it. Everything else will just be one giant room. Um, something like that, for example, we'll say. Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and uh, drop in a front door. Do we have something that looks like a converted garage door? You know, we could have really tall walls. What do the tall doors look like? No. No, it doesn't really doesn't really fit. I was really hoping for something that looked like a big garage door. Glass door, double wooden door. I mean, double doors kind of make sense. These stark front doors. And then what if we just put in a pair of them like that? And then I want it to look really industrial looking. Again, this is going to be a converted garage. So we want some sort of like, do we have like corrugated metal walls? Is that an option? Um, or simple siding. It's maybe as close as we can get. Stone and rock, masonry, paneling, new no. tile, wallpaper, and then just flat paint. Um, comes in different colors. I want like... No, that looks like wood. I don't want that. No, no matter what, it's got the edges, huh? Clapboard? Maybe just clapboard. Can we get that in a really boring sort of gray? I guess it's as close as we can get. Um, and then some sort of roof on there. Actually, like a, a flat roof kind of makes sense for a converted sort of warehouse or garage. Plus, we could potentially put things on the roof. I mean, we're not going to put the rocket on the roof. That would be crazy, but it'd be a great place for a telescope. Um, stairs. Something like that. To let us get up to the roof. And we can drop a telescope on there later. It's like very plain. Very plain. Uh, we will install a, uh, a bathroom. Turn right in the back over here. But that's it. Um, I'm going to make sure to grab a high-quality bed. It's always really important that uh, people can get good, good sleep very, very quickly. Um, so max out energy. So I think we'll probably use the description discretion double bed system. Drop that over there. And then we actually have a lot of space to work with. This is a big garage space. And then we'll put in a kitchen um, in the corner. Oh, we'll deck out the bathroom. So I'd like a bathroom, a toilet that doesn't break, but they're a lot more expensive. And we can really upgrade. Well, we don't want uncomfortable. Um, we can upgrade these. We have handiness skills. I keep using the wrong key to rotate. We're going to put that in. Um, <clears throat> do we want just a shower? This is a big bathroom, much bigger than it needs to be. Everything about this place is way, way, way bigger than it needs to be. Putting in flooring is going to cost us a little bit extra. Um, and then a sink, like, we'll, we'll, we'll get back to, you know, 
we'll figure out how much of a budget we've got and how we want to decorate things. And we'll probably chop this up into having a few more discrete rooms at some point. And by discrete, I mean like separate individual rooms, not, you know, not making some sort of statement on privacy. Um, well, that's the island. I kind of like, you know, what? we're going to go ahead and invest. Oh, uh, you no, know, we have no money left over. It's not that much more. And I like these cabinets a lot. Um, go there. We'll put, say, oven there. At that. Fridge. You know what we could do? Let's have this sort of thing going on. Is it? That's weird. Why does it look all stupid? Why does it... Hang on. Maybe... Let's turn off the auto counter, maybe. If you turn off auto counter, then you get to... Do you not get the... How do you tweak it? I thought if you turned off auto counter, you got to F around with how the counters worked. Hmm. Well, I guess. I guess we'll do that anyway. Looks a little bit silly to me. But there you have it. Um, refrigerator. Well, we luckily we already bought our thing. We've got a bathroom, and we got somewhere we can cook. It doesn't really matter if we go totally broke. I really like this ice box. I don't think we're going to do that, though. Um, better cooking still? No. We're going to go with the cheapo. Okay. Second from cheapo fridge. Yeah, wow. Even the gaps here. This These cabinets are... I guess it says modular. I guess they're not really meant to fit together the same way. That might be what's going on. We'll also try a not terrible oven. Well, I guess this one will be it. Hmm. And we'll throw down some lights. Although, yeah, we're going to have to come back and do some much better working um, stuff. With the ceiling lights, I want... Do we have, like, big boxy fluorescents? No? Really? How come I can't get industrial fluorescent lights in here? You know, just, like, really boring boxy fluorescents that hang from the ceiling. That's odd. I mean, I still want hanging lights. Hmm. That one's actually kind of cool. It's a more expensive, certainly. But these pendant lights, brush metal, fluorescent bulb. Yeah, that, that feels like the sort of thing I was talking about. Oh, we could probably use an actual, uh, you know, dining room table or something. I think we've got a little bit of money left for that. We don't have a computer desk or anything. We can always go across the street and use the one my parents have. Um, we may have to... No, maybe this grand design glass table like this. And then just throw a few little chairs in there. Um, definitely going to cheap out on the chairs. Okay, hopefully that's enough. We'll see how it goes. Uh, meanwhile, go ahead and talk to Mackenzie a little. There we go, everyone's disturbing, or, um, spreading out. Dispersing, that's the word I'm looking for. Everyone's disturbing. Uh, we'll brighten her day... Well, uh, ask to hang out? No, we don't have time for that. Well, talk about cooking. Maybe flirt just a little bit, see how it goes. As far as I know, she's single. I can't do another get to know, right? We just have goofball? I think, you, I think there's a cooldown. Oh, we can get to know now. Hold on. I think there's a cooldown of how often you can use get to know to find out someone's traits. 
She's got a great name. Goofball is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Oh, did she leave? Come back. I want to get to know you. There we go. I don't know what that sound was. She's energized. We got a little bit of that. She's a slob. Ah! Can we get someone with a few decent traits in a row, please? I don't remember. Is there a reward that rerolls our traits? Learn traits just by meeting people is handy, not really critical. Um, we probably want to get something on a Gilbert as soon as possible. There's some useful stuff. Uh, no potion, huh? Huh. Yeah, I don't know. Speed cleaner. So a lot of these are probably moodlet server. Gym rats might be useful for us. And we'll come back. But it'd be nice if we could have rerolled something. Oh, I need... So I need to buy it, and then I need to spend money to build it? Son of a... How much money do we get at work? 71 bucks an hour. And work for 8 hours. Um, What don't we need in our house? Hang on. Goodbye, crappy cabinets that don't work together anyway. Wait, now is it saying only a thousand bucks to build? Didn't it say fifteen hundred a second ago? I'm confused. Maybe I misread it. Still, is that my mom? Hey, Victoria! Did you finish instantly? Okay, I got the rocket skill. I think I need, I probably need a bunch of money. Mom! Let's give her a hug. Always hug your mom, guys. Oh, he, I'm still building. Uh, I see. So that, I bet you I'm going to have to spend a crap ton of money to get my spaceship going. Who knew spaceships were expensive? No, now he's gone. She's gone. Hmm. I should put one uh, one cabinet back in. Because otherwise cooking doesn't go quite right. I'm going to grab the cheapest possible counter, though. How come it's not auto-snapping to the walls? I feel like something is messed. Go go rocketry skill. I'm also hungry and tired. Well, I can technically feed myself. <laughs> Nothing decorated. We have no walls, no anything. Uh, we could practice our gourmet meal skills. These all count as gourmet meals? Even a $4 thing of garlic noodles? Or the gnocchi? We have no fresh ingredients. Make a party size, and then we can keep some extras in the fridge. I'm uncomfortably hungry. Listen, just keep building. This is taking forever, actually. If I interrupt, I'm, I wonder if we have to spend the money again, or we can just say, like, finish this build. Hopefully, we can just finish whatever step we were on. Yeah, we're never going to finish before things freak out here, so we'll cancel that. Okay, we can continue building later. Good, good. M make our garlic noodles. Sounds good. Oh, God, I'm getting hungry. Why do I play these games before lunch? Never a good idea. I'm gonna put the extras in the fridge. They will have that bad oops, bad fridge taste, unfortunately. Ooh, we're randomly focused. Uh, let's clean up. And go to sleep. Can I... I think I goofed on that. I'll have him clean up when he wakes up. Now, do we work tomorrow? Or did we have another day? We do work in 18 hours. We've got our workout task is still complete, which is good. It says daily, but it's really just, you have to do it once before your next day of work. Hope we can still move this after it's built. I, I assume we do. I assume we can, because we can move everything else in the game. Um, bladder. Bladder, bladder. Stop complaining about it. Just do it. That's weird. Oh, we forgot a door. <laughs> uh, let's use the same door as the front. So we grab the eyedropper. I drop the door. Put that there. Okay. Sorry about that, buddy. Hygiene's not great. Let's go ahead and uh, take a shower. Oops. Not a high degree of fun. Hopefully, you find working on spaceships fun. 
because there's really not anything you can do here that's fun. Again, maybe we can go across the street to our parents' house. Not at, like, 4 o'clock in the morning, though. 4 o'clock in the morning is when you build spaceships outside. Oh, look, it's getting another level and everything. This is going to be huge. I've never done this before, by the way. Oh, the other thing we can do, if we need some extra cash real quick, is we can dig up some of this stuff. These collectibles can be worth a lot of money. Plants are less important. What is this thing? Look for frogs. Oh, and like an old uh, water pump. But yeah, shiny rocks. Every now and again, you luck out and you get some that are worth thousands. Wow, we're already level three? Expand fuel storage, all this sort of stuff. Oh, okay, I see, I see. It's a, it's a really long up incoming job that every time it ticks over, it finishes something. All right, that's good to know. Fossil Rock's Mysterious Time Capsule. Hmm. All right, we are not having any fun whatsoever. We're also hungry. So, tell you what, I'm going to tell you. Grab a bite to eat. Why aren't you solving your needs when I click on this? You're supposed to. He should be going to the fridge and feeding himself. Grab a serving. Someone wanted to talk to you. Hey, it's mom again. All right. We're gonna we're gonna go ahead and we'll vent. I should hug her first. Hold on. First hug. Where's friendly? Friendly hug. And then we'll vent. Mom, nothing is as cool as I thought it would be. I got no furniture in my house. I got no fun. Okay, we need something that'll make us fun. Um Let's check our Maybe electronics. Is there any chance? No, can't even afford the worst one. We can get a crappy TV. It's not really worth the effort. I suppose I could just get a bookshelf and just make him read. Chess table? All right, we can afford a chess table. Let's drop that down, move a couple of chairs over. And then, um, play together. Let's play a little chess. There we go. Get focused, which is good, because we want to be focused when we go to work in four hours. Okay, all right, we'll be okay. Who's that? Is that McKinsey? No, that's Dylan. All, all the ladies with short hair. Plus, I tend to, like, note them by their outfits. Um... We'll invite her in, then we'll go in. Oh, we can invite her in without actually getting up. So you can, she can watch us play chess or something. Um, tell a funny story. Just need more fun stuff. Let's play chess with Dylan instead. We finished our game with her mom, so Dylan can sit down. We'll get more skill, more importantly, we get fun. We're all having a group conversation, which is awesome. And uh, specifically, now I think we, we know everything we need to know about Dylan. Clay, clumsy, lazy. I mean, she's not a slob. I gotta say, that slob trait is pretty unappealing. Because she'll actively leave a mess behind. Uh, we're hungry again. Why are we getting hungry so fast? Oh, we left some food over here. We didn't actually eat. That would partially explain things. Finish your meal. You still have eating on the queue. He's just talking, so he's not eating. There we go. Munch that down. Pee like a champion. Uh, as I say, I wonder what that's like. No, I know what that's like. Did we go to work? We did. Okay. So, what is our priority at work? Do we want to work hard? We'll come back exhausted. Oh, we can schmooze with the boss. Chance for an embarrassed mood. Well, we've already had to deal with that once. So, we'll we'll manage. All right, Dylan left. We'll go to work. We'll get a little bit of money again. Woohoo. And then we'll go to back to work on our spaceship. Now, by working on our spaceship, we are trying to get that level 5 skill. We need one more level 5 skill to... Well, actually, we need two, technically, uh, to get Renaissance Sim. I think there was one of the others. Is handiness. I think handiness is at level 4, so we're, like, almost there. Actually, maybe we should finish our handiness skill up before we... Um, 
before we finish the spaceship. I wonder if handiness has any impact on spaceship development skills. Would make sense. Oh, our dad came by, Ellis. Sorry, we're not home, we're at work. We want a promotion, meet someone new. We want to tell a joke. Oh, we'll look into that stuff. So, to order parts, you order parts from computers, right? I think there's another way to do it, but computers is definitely one of them. Where am I? I'm still at work, okay. For some reason, I thought something changed. I guess it's because my moodlets changed, and I thought I, I got home. I'm now uncomfortable. We work until 10, so now I should be, should be home. There we go. 568 bucks. Did some superb work. I'm exhausted, but my work performance is very high. Um, I'll probably get an auto promotion next time, especially if I do any working out or go to work focused. Um, but especially if I if I do my workout, then I should go to work. I should uh, get my promotion no matter what. Um, let's go to sleep, and then in the morning, well, I suppose what we'll do is we'll eat, shower, and then play some chess. I'll actually just tell him to auto resolve the fun thing. He's going to read a logic book and try to get fun out of that. That's interesting. Now, you already have logic seal, though. Level 1 logic shouldn't actually... shouldn't help you anymore. Yeah, so that's a stupid thing to queue up. You have another fun book over here, but... I think... Uh, do we go to work? No, we have another day off. We're, we have two days off in a row. Oh, that's really annoying, actually, that we didn't get our promotion then. Because... Now we have two days without pay. Hmm. Well, we'll figure it out. Uh, don't shower yet, actually, apparently. Do your bladder need first, then shower. Um, now, we don't get any fun working on a spaceship. So we need to get some fun kicked in. Tell you what, let's go across the street to our parents' place so we can use the computer. Uh, unless, is it possible we will get... Fun from Handiness Level 2. Oh, it's reread. Well, it's reread, but we still get skill from it. Yeah, we are getting skill. Now, is it because I'm a huge nerd? We have Speed Reader, which is actually useful. Quick Learner. I don't know why, but apparently reading about Handiness is uh, making us happy. That's fantastic. I would have never guessed that. If it weren't for the fact that when I clicked on this, it tried to read a uh, logic book for fun. We're going to max out our fun while learning skills. Holy crap, that's incredible. I bet you it has something to do with the fact that he's a genius. Let's clean that up, but just because it's bothering me. But uh, finish reading that, because we can get our next level of skill up. We're going to want to upgrade uh, some of our furniture soon. Although, this furniture is probably going to get replaced, so I'm not sure if we're going to keep it or not. Who's that? Dylan! Yeah, come on in. Listen, I gotta work on my spaceship in a second here, but let's, um... I got a brilliant idea for a spaceship. Oh, I didn't get my last skill up. That's really annoying. I'm, like, right there. We're gonna do that. Oh! Minus, minus. We're embarrassed. Why? Awkward encounter. Um... Self-deprecation. Ask for re reassurance. I guess I shared my brilliant idea and she wasn't impressed. Get to know. Although, don't we know Dylan all the way? Yeah, we do. She's a genius, though! It's, we must have genius actions. Reveal brilliant invention. We have... I don't know why there's double exclamation marks. Is it because we're matching? Oh, no, it's walk to. Oh, derp. It's not exclamation marks. Do it. We'll do a quick little flirt, and then we're gonna have to ask her to leave. Double ask her to leave, apparently, because we gotta work on our spaceship while we're in a good mood, and also finish reading our logic book for that last point of logic. But she just teleported away. This is a really magical sight that we've got going on here. Okay, level five. Can perform basic upgrades on kitchen objects, craft large sculptures, brag about handiness. Okay. No one lacks a braggart. So we can stop that. Now, we only need one more skill at level 5, and hopefully that will be rocketry. Dun, 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 build the spaceship! Build the spaceship! Spaceship, spaceship. But we're going to have to continue that next time. Uh, thank you very much for watching this episode of Let's Play The Sims 4. Bye-bye, folks.